Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Jim here, also known as iFake to most of you. Um, today, I'm going to be taking you through a walkthrough of The Legend of Zelda Parallel Worlds, which is a gigantic overhaul and ROM pack of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. And uh, basically what's going to happen here is uh, I'm just going to take you through a complete walkthrough and because what I've noticed is on YouTube and when you Google and Yahoo search and everything, there's really no guides for uh, The Legend of Zelda Parallel Worlds at all. And um, I decided that I was going to do that. So let's just start from the beginning and let's go right through this. Um, while we're going through this, a bit of advice. Uh, save states will be your best friend, so use them uh well, should I say overuse them? And uh, let's see what else. What other advice can I give you? Um, no, well, there isn't anything I can think of right now. So as the game goes on, I'll give you more advice. Um. Okay, so your uncle's gonna go out, save Zelda. Got the arrows here. Now, one thing I'm going to do here, real quick, is I'm going to activate some cheat codes. And yes, I know that that sounds lame, but I'm only doing a select few. Um, the ones that I'm going to do is unlimited hearts, unlimited bombs, unlimited arrows, and infinite rubies. The reason being is it's going to help me get through this walkthrough at a decent pace and decent speed. That way, I can uh, take you through all of this without having any issues and without dying or anything like that. That way I make the walkthrough experience as best as possible. I'm still going to show you the ropes, show you where the uh, hard pieces are, at least the ones that I know and stuff like that. I'm still in the process of figuring out this game, so um, bear with me. I'm not going to get everything and I can't show you everything so I'm still figuring it out myself. But um, Let's go on with the game. Uh, the first thing we need to do is get the lamp. So I'm going to take you there now because without the lamp you actually can't continue throughout the game. Okay, right off the bat you're going to fight an Armos Knight. Or not fight, but rather run from. You'll notice that you're still unarmed, and for the most part, you are going to be unarmed. You actually are going to be unarmed for quite a while, besides grass and pots and some bombs. So, so one thing you want to do alongside with save states is uh, make sure use of uh make scarce use of your items such as bombs, arrows, because you'll most likely need them for all the dungeons and whatnot. So we've got the lamp now, we're gonna head up and I'm gonna take you to the next path. Once we get to the guardhouse, I'm gonna cut the video off from there. And I'll continue part two in the guardhouse. Okay, up there, some rupee if you want to get them. There's a heart piece in this area, but we can't get to it yet because we need uh, the strongest Goron bracelet, which doesn't come to way later in the game. We actually head down here. Oh no, it's not there yet. Okay, okay Lupo intersection. Just come right into the next cave. Make a right. Rupees in here if you want them. Okay, here's where you're gonna want to start using your save states. 
tell you why. Because when you get in here, onto these guys shooting little beams at you. Actually, it's quite annoying. Okay, so we're at the guardhouse, and um, next part, I'm going to take you through it.